Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on today's video. So I'm finally back with another haul. I can't explain how hard it's been trying to get a haul done. Um, so as you can tell today is a Stradivarius haul. So I'm so excited to be back with a haul. Basically a number of things went wrong and the final nail in the coffin was my laptop being too old to use my editing software. So we're back, we've got a new laptop, we've got our orders. So let's enjoy the Stradivarius haul. I'm so excited to show you and let's get into it. So I got a lot of tops and then I got a lot of everything else. So I'm gonna show you the tops first. Then I bought some cargo trousers and then I'll show you the dresses and jumpsuits that I bought as well. So the first one up is this corset style top. So it is in this orange colour here. I quite like this orange colour. It's not too bright and in your face. It's quite subtle, I think. Um, kind of like a pastel orange. I got this in a size medium. For size reference, I'm a size 8 slash 10 sometimes. And I'm 5 foot 3 for height reference. I got this in a size medium and it is just that little bit too big for me. So I definitely could have stuck with a size small. So bear that in mind if you are similar sizes to me. Um, I, I, everything here I'd say I got a smaller medium and the medium in everything was a little bit too big for me so definitely stay true to size when you're ordering from here so I thought this with like jeans or shorts in the summer and like a white shirt would be quite a nice little outfit Um, yeah just a nice little summer going out for drinks outfit I won't chat about the items for too long because I do have a lot to get through so yeah, I thought this was quite cute, but again, definitely see a true size with that one. Sticking with the colour theme, I got a few tops from the Seamless Rib Collection. I absolutely love the Seamless Rib Collection. I'm wearing the leggings from it now, so I picked up a couple tops. The first one I got, again, is this orange colour. I think, yeah, the orange one I got in a size medium, and again, you can kind of tell that it's a little bit too big for me. So I would definitely say a true size. So I picked this up, if you don't know what seamless rib is, it's this really soft and super like really stretchy rib material and I absolutely love it, like basically I wear it every single day. I also picked it up in this like ecru, like basically a cream and I got the cream one in a size small and the small fits me so much better than the medium. I'll put them side by side. It is only a little bit different but it, it makes the difference. Stay true to size and they have loads of colours in these and also if say you wanted like the, the creamy white one and a black one, they do actually sell that as part of a multi-pack itself so you don't need to buy them separately and you do save a little bit of money doing it that way. This next one is not very summery. They do have a version of this that's not got a long sleeve. So this is a crop top that kind of, me showing you like this is not very good so obviously the photo will do it a bit more justice. But I quite like the kind of asymmetrical line and then the long sleeve. This one again I got in a size medium, definitely could have got a small, however I was worried about the long sleeve being too tight in my arm. Don't think that would have been a problem, I think it would have been absolutely fine to stick with a size small and they do have this with like no long sleeve which I think would be much better for the summertime. so perhaps you should have got that but yet we are here. And I wasn't lying when I said I bought a lot of seamless rib. So the next two tops, again, I got them in different colours and different sizes. Let me show you. This high neck crop top. I quite like this one. This one in particular, I got this one in a size medium. And I found that the, the holes for the arms were quite tight. So I didn't really like that. So I'm going to return this because... You buy crop tops because it's it's hot and you want, you know, kind of kind of air going through you. So, and I could just kind of see, I wear fake tans, so that's really tight under my underarm and it's like suffocating me and I'm sweating. It's just going to ruin it. So I'm not going to keep this, which is a shame because I'm quite like the style of top. Like it's like a high neck crop top. It's quite good like under basics and blazers. I got this top in a size small as well in a brown shade. Um, so... A very similar idea. Um, I kind of actually felt the fit of this was actually a little more comfortable. 
um, but still won't be keeping this. I actually bought this to go with the brown seamless ribbed leggings that I got a while back. However, it's a different shade of brown, so I don't see the point of keeping that because I bought it for one purpose and that purpose is not doable. So, lovely, but I'm not going to keep it for for one for one thing that didn't actually work in the anyway. I'm not going to keep it. This is the last seamless rib top that I picked up and it is kind of your classic racer back crop top. But this one, oh it does actually, it is supposed to do that. So this one's kind of got a scoop at the bottom so it scoops up under the bust area and it's a bit longer at the back. I thought that was maybe just it not fitting me very well but now that I know that's supposed to happen that's quite interesting. I did like the fit of this, it was quite comfortable. So I got this in a size medium and actually I would say that that's a perfect size for this one. I like to wear some kind of bra or protection under these tops. I just don't like the idea of, you know, I'm normally with my family or my boyfriend's family and I think I should be wearing a bra in these situations. So again, everyone knows and loves these kind of racer back tops but I prefer the seamless rib versus the rib that your classic kind of Zara ones are from. So I'm going to get more of these in different colours and I could definitely get away with wearing a bra under this as well which is what I love. Okay we've got two more tops, we're almost done on the tops. I got quite carried away, I can't lie. This one again, a weird one. I got this top, so it's this top here, again you'll be able to see, I just stop saying again. This top here you'll be able to see a bit better in the photo there. I don't love the material of this. I also think the fit was okay when it was on but would have been better a size smaller but I think if I was to get a size smaller in this it wouldn't fit. Like I wouldn't be able to get it on comfortably because because I wear fake tan I try and not have materials like if I have to put it on and it has to rub against my skin that friction causes the fake tan to brush off onto clothing so I think unfortunately this one's going to go back. So the next one up is actually a bodysuit I've had in my wish list for a very long time but I've just been waiting to do a haul so I can try it and see what it's like. So it is a black bodysuit, it's a, a low V cut neck bodysuit, I think I did get, yeah, I've got this in a size small, I thought I got this in a medium. Potentially could have got away with a medium but I am wondering now that I think a medium we're doing that a little bit too big whereas this was quite seamless on me. This is the kind of material that I love the feel of until it's too stretched but I was okay. But this is why I think I might need a slightly bigger size because I was okay. And it did actually keep the girls in, like I felt quite secure in this which I was surprised at so I like this. I just find this is far too low cut for me because I, I don't want my boobs out all the time like I want to be able to wear this every day not just when I go out for a meal or drinks so I will be returning this but I'm gonna see if they've got different styles in this material because when I know I like material I will be buying anything I possibly can in it. We are moving on to bottoms I only bought one bottoms which I actually kind of regret because I'm actually waiting to buy jeans from Stradivarius so we'll see how that goes. But I got these cargo trousers in a size UK 10. And I don't know why. But I just got them in a regular 10. And they do actually do the cargo trousers in a petite version. And I'm kind of thinking I should have got petite. I actually, like, no, I'm, I'm in debate because my legs are that way where I'm 5 foot 3 but my legs are quite long but they're not long enough to be a regular so, uh, but I actually think I, I like it when they're bunched up at the bottom and I think if I've got chunky trainers on it fingers crossed would be okay so I got these in a size 10 they fit me perfectly I bloat quite a lot so I do have a lot of room in this when I'm feeling my morning skinny and by evening I still fit in them quite comfortably because I, I actually tried these on in the evening so I know this for a fact. So I love these, a really soft material, obviously cargo trousers are a big hit. I think I'm going to have to invest in 
another pair as well because these are so soft they feel so good quality and from memory they weren't too expensive either so will i get them in every color yes i will so the last few bits i've got to try on one i'm noticing are all black two i've not tried them on yet as i've said before if there's anything i find wrong with them if the fit isn't obviously not fitting me I will either pause the video and say or I'll put it down in the comments when I link the item. So first up from this section is a jumpsuit. It is a kind of spotty polka dot inspired reverse Dalmatian inspired jumpsuit. It is a nice strappy one and it's got like frilly little detailing on the sleeves very stretchy comfortable material look at that stretch and i got this in a size small let me just oh yeah this will, this will fit fine because it's quite a stretchy material so kind of the classic this will be great for literally anything and that's all i have to say because it's that nice stretchy material that you can dress this up you can dress it down I was gonna get a normal denim jacket but I'm starting to think I should get a cropped one instead just to give myself more of a figure but you can definitely dress this up which is absolutely lovely and I also think you could get away with wearing that with like boots in the winter maybe you know get more than one use out of it next up is a midi dress I've got two midi dresses to show you this one I just think is so not me but I love it so it's got this bow detailing on the top of the straps and it's got a, it's stretchy at the back so it should fit the figure quite nicely and then after the waist it flares out and like it's like puff material and it's a quite lightweight material which is why I love it. It's black though so summer, black, lightweight, doesn't seem to go together. But again with like a crop denim jacket you can dress that up with heels. I just think this is just so chic so chic anyway on to my next black dress is this midi dress here so it's a, a very soft almost like a brush rib material got it in a size small and it does have cutouts on each side which i thought was quite unique and then it is like a racer back racer back at the top cutout details at the side and then it goes all the way to a midi dress don't we love it i love it for sure I think this is great nice little piece again denim jacket some sandals outfit heels in a leather jacket outfit blazer and some trainers outfit do you see the beauty behind a plain black midi dress for summer I rest my case okay so this is actually the last thing I forgot I had this I bought a swimsuit quickly. I wasn't going to show you this because I don't plan on trying it on for YouTube. But it is this black swimsuit. It's scoop, scoop v-neck. It crosses at the back. I kind of got this one for like, I want to get back into swimming. So I thought this was like pretty enough, but also basic enough. But we'll see. But the reason I wanted to mention it is because the quality feels a lot better than other fast fashion brands I've tried so I don't know if you understand when I say this but I sometimes find them it doesn't feel good on the skin so if you want to try Stradivarius swimwear based off of this swimming costume I would try it out and I will be trying out their bikinis for summer holidays so yeah I want to check them out obviously their website will be linked down below so if you want to click on that link and go and look at other bikinis or anything feel free to so that was everything for my Stradivarius haul thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end give the video a thumbs up this I tried to be so quick filming this but I'm already looking at how long I've been filming it which is worrying but there was a lot of things to get through so thank you so much for watching I will hopefully be back very soon with another haul I just need to figure out what but yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know and I will see you in my next video.